Let's just do this. I've got fat for a reason, because I eat too much. Well, let me take you on a small journey with the T4 series from the Timex 200 meter range. The copyright to the pictures used remain to their owners and I don't take any claim they are mine. The pictures are used to show the differences and not to make me a millionaire. I came across the T4 series when I was on one of my curiosity hunts that I usually do in the early hours. I was amazed just how many varieties there was from the T4 range and the difference is grade in all areas of the watch with different hands, markers, bezels, straps and even more hands. Some were called reef gear, maybe that's for good reef. Another T4 from Timex. They even produced a titanium version with a vivid yellow dial. Well so far this video is showing only photos and if you're like me you're wanting the real watch to be handled. But there's so many to choose from so let's have a random lucky pick. How about this one? The T49 141 P4. 2017 was the year of manufacture and this was the last version made. There is some discussions on what you seek and of course the link is found in the description. And for those who want my voice and the actual watch jiggling on the screen with no fuss, here it is. So the rattle isn't from a bad gearbox, this is from the bracelet that has been pressed together. Not a bad thing as it keeps the weight down. Each link offers the magical illusion it's solid. Double deployment release clasp exposing something from the no effort required design team. I've seen a better effort on a pair of fancy dress handcuffs, but this is just the beginning. Look at those end links from the underside, like a wheel axle from a car, don't you think? Now this to me looks like a bodge upon another bodge seasoned with 100% cock up. I really have to say, it's certainly different. And if you're going to cock it up, then take the pride further and expose it past the lugs. Then add a hood over the top and pretend it was designed to be that way. The bracelet isn't that bad. I'm just mocking like I usually do. And with the lugs being 17.9 millimeters, you can at least add your own wrist bondage. It uses push pins to remove the links, but I do like that macro detail, faking it like screws with fine slot heads. The outside has a brushed skeleton spine, while the inside has the look of scales, maybe fish related. Stainless screw down case back with screw up for battery replacements using the CR2016. Circular brushing around the center with an effort of a polished edge. The underside of the case has a fine sandblasted finish, while the sides and the top side, hmm, that sounds like steak, is brushed horizontally with a lug to lug of 47.5 millimeters and a depth of 12.7 millimeters. Finally on the front, and I have to add that it does have a really nice compact design using 40.5 millimeter width and 43 millimeters millimeter including the crown and in my opinion this is the best of the bunch taking all the parts I like to end the T4 line with guns blazing or is that harpoons blue dial adds interest with chrome markers all matching in size on the outer edge and what's really great with attention to detail is that three o'clock marker has the date window hidden within backed in white the markers are 99% with loom while the hands score 100% and I will come back to a loom shot soon the main hands are skeleton with a brushed matte finish with the second hand in vivid gloss red and to add these hands are perfectly sized to the dial hitting all the targets even though the second hand is a little lazy with accuracy. Timex is dominantly printed at the top with their Exhibit Edition proudly exposed underneath. Indiglo, I will return back to this with a loom shot, I promise, with WR200M next to it. Now the mini track has gone wild with only two shots on the dial between the hour markers, which is more for decoration. Then there's a deep silver chapter ring by adding four regular minute shots. And for those who need the five, 5, 10, 15 and so on has been printed for you. The Dolphin communicator is at a perfect level to annoy anyone within a range of 200 meters above or below the waters. It's unidirectional with 60 frames per hour. The bezel overlaps the case a fraction with eight textured grips. It comes with the full inclusive spec package with a black minute track, which is in binary code. 15, 30, 45 count, some shock resist techs because they ran out of space on the watch. And the best till last includes loom here, 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 and here, and pipped here. Lights out, quick shot of luminox radiation, 
Just toast a little more, and there she blows, in green. Not a bad strength, but this isn't a worry, as Indiglo steals the review. Look at the combo of that! Eat my loom, Bolex! Yeah, that makes up for the end links. Now, the bezel does include some additional features, like bezel slop, back play, and bezel DJ beats. I presume this isn't easy to manufacture all of these at once, so goggles off to you, Timex, for these quirks. The crystal is thick and mineral-y, and I would say it has some AR, as most of the time it looks like the crystal has fallen out. And that's the Indiglo Pusher at 8 o'clock, just in case you didn't know. After spending a little time with it, I've really grown fond of it. Looks much better in person, and I would say it has the hint of the swatch irony side. This is in NOS condition, and it even comes with a Timex display stand. Look at that. I have to say, Timex, the last attempt at the T4 is a winner for me, mainly because you swayed away from making it almost a fancy fashion watch, as the bezel choice used on this model is, well, I'm sure you're making your own judgments. It's not a diver's rated watch, but does have a screw down crown, a small crown with small crown guards, but it does the job it needs to do, and has the quick date set included. To be honest, I wasn't taken away with the other models from the T4 range, but this one has the balance of making it timeless. You can certainly fool anyone thinking it's a luxury Swiss jobby, maybe pushing it as a targ, but it doesn't scream Timex. I feel this was creating something from the 80s, adding some fun with stupidity, but brave enough to make it, and I ended up buying it. Well, I'm just a sucker for Timex, Chinzano and big shoulder pads. That's the time, that's the date. It's in there, trust me. Thanks for watching. And that's the way to end this video. I guess I need to put some wrist shots in there.